Hello everybody, this is Christian, this is Fusion 360 to the right, and to the left we have an image of a ring, and this is from a Reddit question. And I thought the geometry of this was quite interesting, it's not that complicated, and it is interesting to show how I decipher the geometry, I'm gonna call it that, what you want to call it. So we're gonna have, this is the model I made earlier, just to check that I get a reasonable thinking of what I'm doing. We're going to create a new design, uh, start by saving of course, I will not save now, but remember start by saving, if you do a lot of editing and things crashes on you, you might have something to go back to without starting over everything. Let's have a look at the ring first of all. Uh, this looks very much like a straight ring, looking at this, uh, images can sometimes skew things and make them look strange, but this looks very much like a straight edge. That makes me think that this face here, that's not cut by these angle things here, is the outside of the cylinder. Inside we have, of course, round cylinder. So I suspect this is just a simple cylinder. If we wanted to, we could, of course, add an arc to the outside of this ring. If I want to do an arc, I would most probably sketch the profile here and then do revolve of that around the center axis. But I, I think this is a straight cylinder, so... I will do this, only this straight cylinder here, simply sketching it from the top with a circle. So let's go back to do like that. Can we get our windows in a good order like that? Let's create a sketch. Let's do it from the top. So we said C for circle. C. Start with circle. I'm just guessing we should do this 18 millimeters. We can change this later, of course. Get it O for an offset. And off this line, let's do it 1.2. Okay, like that. And I might want to change these dimensions. And a really good way, open up a sketch process. I can, you can make the dimensions visible, even if you are not editing the sketch. But for ease then, of course, to be able to change, I want to take the dimensions moving outside of the future body I'm going to create. So it's easier to click on them and change the numbers. Going to finish sketch. So that's like the start of our pipe or start of a ring. E for extrude. Uh, if we're looking at this, this is a very symmetrical part. We're going to use that later, most probably. Well, I know I'm going to use it later. So I'm going to do this like a symmetric extrude. This here, I'm using the whole length. It makes it easier to think. Let's at least get three point. Oh, sorry. Let's make it, I hit enter by mistake. Uh, let's make it uh, 3.5, that's my original plan. Uh, my sketches, let's open the browser, if I have a body, we have one body, my sketches doesn't auto hide, so I'm going to hide it now. Going to have a look at this, and it looks a bit like I screwed a bit too high. I think 3.2 is a bit better. Yeah, that's close enough. And of course, if I make the sketch visible and right click and do show dimensions, I move the dimension outside here, so I can now, if I want to do, okay, I want the offset to do it one millimeter. I can quite easily outside of here now change without the necessity to go in and edit the sketch. So I'm going to hide that for now. We have made the basic cylinder shape. Yeah, that's good. Let's have a look at the faces here now. We have these faces going around here. Uh, let's have a nice green color. Uh, this, I suspect all these faces have the same length. So I'm just going to sketch this for here now. So this should be the edges of a polygon with the uh, blue corner, with the corner of a polygon out here. So let's have a look. We have one face here when we have what looks like a parallel face over here, and that's straight over the ring. So do the calculation correctly. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and when we start over, so the polygon should have 12 sides. Another thing we can see, specifically if we try to zoom in, I can't zoom in now. Uh, let's do blue again. On the corners here, we can see that it's not cutting a small part here. We can see the cylinder face. The cylinder face comes here and goes up here. It's also visibly down here. That means that the corner of the polygons must be outside of the outer diameter of this, the pipe ring thing we did earlier. So, 12 sides, polygon. Let's do that. Let's start with that sketch. I'm going to create a sketch on the top of a ring here now. Create polygon. 
circle sky polygon gonna click here tab over and make it 12 sides no dimension for now and i will not constrain it anyway now because i have one thing more i want to do if we go back to look at this this looks uh, very much like a symmetry if you look at this and my guess is also that the top of this arc shape here or the bottom of the straight edge here hits the corner up here but the question of course is uh, I'm going to move everything where is my symmetry in stance or where is my symmetry in this part I have one face here straight edge here and one straight edge here the symmetry is not along the center here and not along the center here it should be in between these if you think this goes into the center of the ring in here and I need to get this but the center of this face is the same thing as the corner up here of the polygon on top so we need to do the line that goes here to the center of this edge or center of this face we need the line that goes to the corner of the same polygon and then the line in the middle here should be our symmetry for the future as you're going to use a circular pattern i might confuse you you're going to see when do the model let's go back I'm going to do a line it's going to be construction lines i'm going to start from the center here straight down to the middle of his face and then from the corner straight up here let's zoom in a bit and then one more line somewhere here make sure i because do this we can show another thing as uh, from here i'm just going to go a bit outside of here hit escape to stop the line command now i want this point to be coincident to this line i can simply use the trim tool it's going to cut off a line and add a coincident constraint to the end point here you can see the coincident constraint thing is now i want this to be in the middle of these two lines here so i'm going to use constraint symmetry these two lines and this line should be symmetric in the middle and then i tell fusion i want this line here to be vertical horizontal vertical constraint so the only thing now is trying to find a dimension of this and for doing that we need the outer edge of the uh, cylinder of a ring so i'm going to do p for project and do that on this line and hit ok i'm now going to hide the body and it turned into construction entity that's totally correct going to move the polygon in so we think about this the polygon here needs to cut slightly off here but it should not be all inside because the corners of a polygon should be slightly outside how can we dimension that well but you we need to dimension from here to here and there's nothing to dimension from so hit s on the keyboard and do po for point and we're going to do a point the good thing with points are that, that way will automatically do double constraints you can constrain it you see it locks into this line and it locks into this line and if i move it like this you can see it snaps to the intersection of these two lines so i do that one do the same over here find line and i found this you feel it's slightly snapping snap it here d for dimension i'm going to dimension from here to here you can then get a horizontal vertical but i want to make sure i get the aligned or you can also right click and say i want the aligned dimension and let's do that 1.2 for now by that we have a fully defined sketch so far so i'm going to cut and the cutting tool if we look at this here the cutting tool should be on the outside cutting off from the cylinder so we need to do a profile that's outside of this we can simply do that with an offset once again of this uh, circle here no longer construction we're gonna just move it outside like 10 millimeters so we get like a profile on the outside here we're gonna finish sketch turn on our body we're going to extrude this outer profile and it's want to go up so we're going to go down it's going to have a minus 10 and we do it like this and have a look you can see the faces are cut straight down and we don't want that we don't want to have a taper angle and we extrude in this body so this needs to be a negative taper angle because it was a taper away from the cylinder so let's minus 15 you can see the faces i suppose maybe a bit too much minus 12 yeah let's start there we have something to work on so we've done our first cuts 
we can see we have done this here. So, the strange things I did uh, setting these up, if I turn on the region here, you can see that this axis creator here lines up with this, uh, what is this, the set axis, y axis, sorry, the green one, y axis. So, what we're going to do now, how you can hide the sketch. Here's on the keyboard, find circular pattern, circular pattern of feature, the last cut feature we did, going to do it around the y axis, the green one. We're going to do a full and good twice adjust or optimize. We, I think we do optimized uh, because we really only want to pattern the faces. The faces are not intersecting. So optimized is a good selection. Hit OK. And we have made the ring. Now let's have, oh sorry, let's open up so we can do see better look at things. Go over here and clean up all of them stupid drawings. And we're going to have a look now. So yeah, that's a bit too wide. So we can open up, tell Fusion you want to show dimensions. And of course, I put this dimension too far in. It's going to pull it out. Let's do that 0 0.8. What does that look at? Let Fusion update the model. You can see we are getting closer. It looks like the ring is a bit too high. So we're going to change this extrude to 3 millimeters. This is a bit of testing and finding out. Uh, this angle is apparently to needs to be more out so it doesn't cut down as far minus 14 so by playing around with this we can most probably find a very close resemblance here upon five let's play around with numbers now i have a sketch by playing around with numbers and stuff we obviously have a real ring in our hand we can do dimension and shaking up things so we could of course uh, if we happen to have a ring in our hand we could uh, do an up dimension check from here to here and in this sketch here dimension the polygon from flat side to flat side and we have uh, basically be all the correct dimension all needed to find the angle so uh, this is me rambling about a very basic ring and the geometry of it I hope you have learned something or are getting totally confused anyway I hope you all have a good weekend and I hope to see you around goodbye